everyone, this is Marcia from One Scrap at a Time, and I'm back today with another process video for Disney Studios. So for today's video, I'm using this cut file that's called Frostbite Background, and I wanted to put this um, snowflake paper from the crepe paper um, Snow and Cocoa um, collection behind the cut file because I think it just makes the cut file just pop so much more than if it was just against a white background. Um, and frostbite and snow, they just go hand in hand. And yes, I know I'm in Minnesota and it's freezing cold here in the winter right now. It's It was like minus 15 the other day and um, it's currently snowing right now. So I didn't want the background cut file across my whole 12 by 12 page. I thought that that was just going to be too much. So I just wanted it on my lower half. So I glued the cut file down on my pattern paper and um, then I'm just going to um, trim off the bottom pieces um, once I get it down. I want to do um, my photo at an angle and um, I cut out some snowflakes as well from Just Nick Studio Digital Cut Files. And the snow comes from the Holiday Words, which is another cut file. Um, so I'm going to glue this piece down and then I'm going to trim off the bottom and then go ahead and glue it down a little bit better with my fine line glue bottle. So the photo I'm scrapbooking today is a photo of my daughter and her dog. So she has a uh, Great Pyrenees and um, she's a big dog, but she loves the snow. Um, in fact, in the summertime, she actually gets too hot. Um, she has a very thick coat and the really cold weather just doesn't bother her at all. She's out there um, playing in the snow all the time. I wanted to do the title um, Snow Adorable for the two of them posing out in the snow and um, one of the preview shots that I showed you at the beginning um, was me um, playing around with these cut files in Silhouette Studio. So I kind of played around with the cut files so I knew where I wanted these snowflakes to go. And I knew um, uh, where I wanted the title to go. Um, and so I'm just going to play around um, with some of the um, embellishments then and add in some embellishments from the Snow and Cocoa collection. But I didn't think the snowflakes popped enough against the background. And so I'm going through with some um, Quick Quotes chalk ink just on the edges of my snowflake just to make them pop a little bit more against the background. And I'm just applying the ink with a sponge dauber. Um, and chalk ink works really good for doing this. It gives your die cuts dimension. Um, and like I said, it just really makes it pop. So chalk ink is great for blending on the edges. If you don't have ink pads and the sponge dabbers, you could try using a marker to go over the edges and just make them pop a little bit more. Just want to give it um, some definition on the edges. So you can see um, to get on the inside of this snowflake, I'm bending the paper out of the way and trying to get the ink uh, in the smaller cuts on the inside as well. Um, and sometimes um, a marker is a better way to go for um, more intricate die cuts. Um, you can get it in those small cracks better. But for the snowflakes, I didn't care if I had um, smudges of ink other places. I just thought that that would add to the effect of the snowflake. So. I'm digging out some um, Vibes um, in Frostbite um, and just to add some blue to the background. And then I also have, I think this is Peacock um, Color Shine to um, 
get some splatters on my background before I go and add my photo and um, other embellishments. So gluing down these acetate pieces from the Snow and Cocoa collection can be tricky. I don't want to see the adhesive behind um, this piece since it's transparent. So I'm using a Xyron sticker maker and this one that I used is a three inch, I think it's three inches um, wide. So these die cuts fit in it very well. Um, and they're disposable, so you can pick them up at Michael's or Joann's, um, and they work extremely well. I like to rub the back of mine with a bone folder um, just to make sure that the adhesive um, comes off completely, and it also helps so that it doesn't stick along the edges. Um, I did want to mat my photo, and I used um, pink pattern paper to do that. I just thought it would um, pop a little bit more and since my snow, one of my snowflakes was pink and this girl throwing the snowball was pink, I thought I just needed more pink. Um, so I had um, cut out snow in black as well as in this um, pattern paper, the brown with the white dots, um, and I was thinking I would do a shadow effect just so that uh, the die cut would pop a little bit better. Um, it's, that's, a, that's a good way to um, put a shadow on your die cut. It's just cut two of them and then offset them just a little bit um, when you glue them down. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to adhere my snowflakes down, um, being careful not to cover up um, my other embellishments I had there, and then trimming away the edges. Um, so I'll do that with these other two snowflakes and trim away the edge. and then one more. So now the fun part is about to start. I can start going through the other um, die cut F mirror pieces and stickers in the Snow and Cocoa collection and decide which ones I'd like to put on here. Um, I thought a snowman would be cute and so I'm going to put some foam tape on him and use um, some baby powder on the back just so that the sticker doesn't stick where I don't want it to and then I'll be able to pop it up and this will create some dimension on my layout. So I'm putting the snowman um, on the other side of my photo from the title. So I, I thought maybe I should get my title down on here then before I get too wild with embellishments. So I'm using some thickers and I decided to go with some pink thickers as well. And so I'm arranging um, them on a ruler so that way um, I can decide where I want them and then stick the top down and pull the bottom part away. Um, this comes in really handy. So then they had these other um, pieces on the thicker sheet that I thought kind of looked like snowflakes um, and would help um, create a visual triangle with the pink from the adorable to the snowman to my other snowflake up there. So it just creates a bit of a visual triangle. So you can, you can see too that my snowflakes also create another visual triangle. Um, so um, it just makes, I think, your layout more appealing um, and leads your eye around the layout um, and creates some interest. So I'm adding another sticker on here on my adorable, these little birds with the hat and scarf I thought was cute and some of the puppy sticker houses I put up on here to create kind of a, a village scene. So then I'm going through 
um, some of the phrase stickers um, to see what I want to put some phrase stickers on my photo. So just trying to decide which ones I want and I'm also putting some foam tape behind this one as well um, that I want on my photo. Um, then using the baby powder here as well to stick on. Um, there are a lot of cute phrases on here. Um, oh so cold, burr, um, lots of fun stuff. So I had thought originally that I would like this phrase sticker up at the top of my photo, um, but I decided not to put it there. I wanted to put it at the bottom of my photo instead. I thought that it helped ground my photo a little bit better there. Um, so I decided instead to um, use this puppy bird sticker and I'm looking for another phrase sticker to put up on the top. So the puppy stickers in the Snow and Cocoa collection are just adorable. I love them. I think they're um, one of my favorite parts of this collection. Adorable characters and um, fun embellishments. So I thought the bottom of my layout was a little bare. Um, I wanted to put something else with my snowflake down there and create another cluster. So I found this polar bear stamp and this another um, acetate piece that said so much fun. So I ran that through my sticker maker um, to be able to stick it down so that you can um, not see the glue behind the acetate. Um, and so I really like um, the visual triangle that this creates then um, to lead your eye from snowflake to snowflake to snowflake. Um, so the, I'm coming to the end of my layout here. I'm going to add a few more um, puffy sticker snowflakes and then I think I'm going to call it done. So I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. Um, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.